All right, guys. Well, I'll be taking apart a uh, Xbox 360 20-gig uh, hard drive. Uh, in case you guys want to know how to take one apart to maybe replace the drive or something that may have failed in it or uh, to upgrade it, whatever the case may be, because you can upgrade these uh, pretty cheaply, actually, for about $35 for a new hard drive, for a brand new one, and uh, run it through a program on your computer and put it back in here and... It'll be like a brand new 360 drive. Anyway, I'm gonna turn it over. Now this is going, you're gonna have to have a uh, a T6 Torx bit. If you don't have one of those, you can use a really tiny uh, Phillips head screwdriver. About like a, you can stick in there, and you, but you, you know it's kind of difficult. And you have to push really hard to get them out, but uh, it's doable because most people don't have these really tiny Torx bits. So you just take the four screws out all around. I've never taken one of these apart before, so I'm going in blind. <laughs> um, looks like under the Microsoft sticker is going to be probably another one, so just pierce right through it, grab the screw. It looks like from here we just kind of maybe pull on this and separate it. Looks like this is hanging this up. I'm not sure. Okay, just kind of wiggle and pull off. Oh wow, we got some pretty decently big uh, Torx screws here. Again, you can use a uh, small flathead screwdriver. But what I want to do is use my Torx bits if I got the right size. Looks like the closest I'm going to get is probably a T8. It's probably a T9 or a T10. I'm not sure where my... That's probably like a T9, actually. But this will... A T8 will take them out. It just pulls off. And we got the hard drive just right there. I wonder if this comes up out of there. Huh. Oh, just lost the button. Alright, yeah, you will lose the button, so be careful. Feels like there's one right there. I don't really care about this hard drive, but it's only a 20 gig. I've got several of these cases, so I'm just gonna peel it off. Um, yeah, there's not one under there at all. Oh well, losing everything. Yeah, one goes there and the spring goes inside that thing there. No problem. I bet you that's just glued. Yeah, okay. It's just glued on there. Some little sticky tape. Now you can actually move the drive back and forth. So just pull that back. Pull the drive out. Slide your new drive in. Push the connector back on. Reverse procedure to replace it. What kind of drives I put in these things? Wow, a Seagate. 
I thought they'd be putting Western Digitals in there or something better quality anyway, but... I mean, this 20 gig lasts a long time. <laughs> usually the lower the gigabytes, the longer the hard drive usually lasts. Just from my experience, but... I mean, I've, I've had like 160 gigs before, like in a computer. My friend, like I bought it brand new, the same time my friend bought a, a, a one terabyte. <laughs> And a year later, the one terabyte drive failed, and I'm still going, you know. So that's the way I see it with these with these drives. The lower the gigabyte, the better because of longevity. But but yeah, that's how you uh, take one of those hard drives apart.